Our topic for this lesson is function notation. Our objective or essential question is to explain the meaning of function notation. And so that's what we are specifically looking at in this um, lesson. Function notation looks like this. It's kind of weird, doesn't it? We would read that f of x. That's how we read it, f of x. f is simply the name of the function. And we can use different letters. It doesn't always have to be f, and I'm going to show you throughout this lesson that you can use different letters to represent it. f of x also means the value of the function, the value of the function, when x is a certain number. When x is a certain number. Okay? F, another thing to think about is that f of x um, is the same thing as y. Okay, so it's just another way to write it. When we talk about functions in algebra, we use, tend to use function notation, but it's the same thing as y. So looking at the examples below of this, just to get comfortable with function notation, what I want you to know is that this number in parentheses, remember, is where the x goes. So that represents x. And then this number would represent y. So what this is saying is the value of the function when x is 0. And so it's saying the value of the function is 58 when x is 0. And so what we could do is we could write this as an ordered pair. x is 0, y is 58. That's all it means. Right here, remember this is going to represent your x. h of 2 equals negative 7. This is going to be your y. And again, it's saying that the function is equal to negative 7 when x is 2. And so if we wrote an ordered pair, x is 2, y is negative 7. It's as simple as that. Sometimes we get tricked up in overthinking function notation. Okay, looking at the next examples, it says evaluate the following functions when x is equal to negative 4 and when it's equal to 3. So let's start with negative 4. We have the function f, and we want to know the value of it when x is negative 4. So see how I replaced the x with negative 4? So if I replaced x with negative 4 here, then anywhere I see an x, I have to also put a negative 4. Notice this does not mean multiplication. This is different. When we show, we show multiplication in algebra differently than this. So this is not multiplying. So all we're going to do is evaluate this function and we're going to calculate it. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Minus 5 is negative 13. So the value of the function when x is negative 4 is negative 13. Okay. We're going to do the same thing now when x is 3. f of 3. Find the value when x is 3. So wherever we see an x, we're going to replace it with a 3. So this would be 6 minus 5. Super easy. f of 3 equals 1. It's as simple as that. Okay. Look at the next one wanted to give you an example with some negative, more negative signs. Notice I have named this function g. We can use whatever variable or letter we want. So g of negative 4. Okay. Now when we go to plug in negative 4 for x, I want you to see there's this negative sign in front of the x. So I have to write the negative sign, and I have to write negative 4. And you may notice that. You may realize this, this turns into a positive, but I really want you, wanted you to see why that's positive. This is going to end up being 4 minus 1, and so g of negative 4 is 3. Okay? 
Let's do g of 3 now. So again, we're going to write the negative sign. We're going to put in a 3. If you want to put parentheses, you can, but you don't have to um, by any means. So this is going to be negative 3 minus 1. And so g of 3 is negative 4. Okay, the next example, this one's a little bit different. Notice it says find x. So we don't know what x is. And it says when h of x equals negative 7. Well, I remember, what did I tell you this represented? It represents y. So wherever I see h of x, I'm going to replace it with negative 7. And this time, this is different. This is 2 thirds x. We're going to take this equation and we're going to solve for x. We're going to find out what x is. We already know what the equation is equal to or the function is equal to. Now remember, two-step equation, inverse operations, add 5 to both sides. That gives me negative 2 equals 2 thirds x. I'm going to come over here because I've run out of room. Okay. Canceling out a fraction coefficient, our inverse operation would be to divide. Remember, when we divide fractions, we multiply by the reciprocal. So the shortcut is to go straight to multiplying by the reciprocal of 2 thirds, which is 3 over 2. So this would give me negative 6 over 2, which is negative 3. Okay, I want you to use these three examples, and I want you to try and do the last three problems on your own. Tomorrow when you come to class, this is going to be your entrance ticket. I'm going to ask you to write your answers to these three problems on a sticky note and post it on the board. So please work through these three problems the best that you can using the notes from above, and be ready to turn that in during class.